now made a deal with other companies called Advia. They developed Venetoclax, which is the anti-BCL2. Ibrutinib is the one against the Bruton canis. That can extend life of patient with, uh, with uh, CLL. So we have already two very good drugs. Okay? We don't know the result, which are already very good on their own. We don't know the result yet. But some results are starting to appear about using a combination of venetoclax and ibrutinib. Okay? In this case, you have two different drugs that uh, target the leukemic cell through two di completely different mechanisms, through two different genes. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, soon we will uh, be able to target uh, the same cancer cell using two or three targets, which are encoded, in fact, by the same locus. But uh, the malignancy is uh, driven by at least three different mechanisms. Yeah. So I think we are. I think that we are in pretty good shape with CLL. And, and actually, what I like about CLL a lot is uh, that the cells are accessible. Yeah? We can just get them from the blood of the patient. We can uh, uh, store cell at different times before the patient is treated, during the treatment, so we can follow up what is happening in, uh, in this uh, cell. And therefore, that provides a lot of opportunity to study mechanism. Because in my view, we will really cure cancer only if we, if we understand really mechanism. Okay? And this is also applicable to many other malignancies that are much more difficult to study. And, and so what we learn from CLL is probably applicable to many other cancers. In fact, after our discovery of MIR-15-16 involved in CLL, it became clear that in every cancer there is dysregulation of specific microRNA. And that could provide information about using microRNA or anti-microRNA in treatment, but could provide us also with some information about the target of this microRNA, providing accessible target for therapy of many other different malignancies. So I find it very exciting. So life is never boring. <laughs>